Okay, so as I mentioned before, I've been working on uh, this Learn to Solder Kit, which for me is a new thing. This is the AmeriKit AK100 Learn to Solder Kit and Build a Flashing European Siren. This is the kit I picked up at the HMS Beagle store in Parkville for around $15. So it was a pretty good kit. Um, I butchered it, but it works. So I just wanted to show you a couple things I had. Had my gloves. Uh, which I only used a few times, um, mostly when I was afraid I was going to burn my fingers. I burned my fingers anyhow. Got some resistors, color-coded. They came in the kit. Uh, a solder-removing copper braid, which came in the kit. My wire strippers. My other set of wire strippers. Uh, so sandpaper I used to clean the soldering iron tip after I oxidized it. That caused me a lot of problems. I had to look on the internet to figure that out. You're not supposed to use sandpaper, but some people say to, and hey, guess what? It worked. 9 volt power battery, power source to the gods. Um, some failed soldering wires, some wires, some rosin that I bought at Radio Shack to help clean said tarnished soldering iron. My work light I used. Uh, this is a clamp and hobby magnifying glit kit that I've had for a while. I use that for a little bit, but not too much. Solder, heat clamp, my trusty and much abused Leatherman Wave multi-tool, still the best in the world. A cheap pair of pliers. A pair of snips that came with the kit, that was nice. My safety glasses, these worked really well except they were tinted. This made things a lot harder. But they are better than not having any safety glasses at all. Came with a 25 watt soldering iron, that was pretty nice. The stand was something I'd had from some previous attempts. And it came with a really nice workbook for the solder practice kit. I mean, this thing's like 10 pages, spells out how to do everything, except the only thing I thought it was a little weak on was what to do when you screw up your soldering iron and it gets all tarnished and isn't delivering heat very well. So this is uh, what came out of this kit is, and let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says solder practice SP1. Um, that is pretty much what I built. Uh, there's a battery lead and a speaker lead with some LEDs. If we look at my soldering on the back, it's not real great. It's not real horrible, but it's not real great. Uh, you can tell as I worked across, things got a little bit better. Uh, I learned how to use rosin and keep my heat a little bit more effectively. These parts up here were practice pads. Um, as you may be able to tell, I burned the hell out of a couple of them. There were supposed to be wires connected to everything there, but those don't actually do anything. Uh, I got better as I went along. They, they walk you through that at the beginning. So let's go ahead and put the battery in and check the lights here. So what we're going to do, we'll take our 9 volt. Um, this did stick a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and set you down real quick. battery on. You can already hear it start to make noise. See there we have LED 1 and LED 2. They're blinking pretty well. Part of the project was put this potentiometer on here, which makes it louder and louder. And then it does sound like a European siren with flashing lights and everything. And this little speaker. Uh, it was definitely challenging, educational. I think I got better towards the end, and I think I'm going to work on my next project. Thanks.